Coming up next on Cooking with MFRD, Assistant Fire Marshal Tracy Summer is back in the kitchen and he makes one of his favorites, peach cobbler. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with MFRD. I'm Ashley McDonald, and here today with me is Assistant Fire Marshal Tracy Summer. And on this gloomy spring day, we're going to bring some sunshine in this station's kitchen with Tracy's famous peach cobbler. Famous, I'm not sure about. Infamous, maybe so. <laughs> okay, Tracy, how long have you been making this recipe uh, here at the fire department? My grandmother taught me how to do this several, several years ago. Um, of course, everybody's granny always gives good cooking lessons. Mine's no different. Uh, this is a really simple recipe. It only has about six ingredients. Uh, of course, I love, I love peaches. A lot of people, you can do the same thing with blackberries. Uh, apple cobblers, people make those, but I think peach is pretty much a staple. Um, I don't do anything different that most people wouldn't do. Uh, one thing I do like to do is, is cut my peaches up into smaller uh, smaller pieces. You can get peach halves, you can get peach pieces or slices, whatever you want. I just like to cut them up a little bit. It makes them a little bit easier to, to cook. It cooks a little bit quicker uh, and do that. Okay, so you retain, you don't drain the peaches at all? I don't drain, all. I use okay. it all. And I like myself, I like peaches with heavy syrup, not light. Uh, that's the way Granny said make it, and that's just the way that I do it. Uh, I've been making this recipe uh, 19 years or so, that's how long I've been. I'll start my 19th year in June here with the department. Right, ever since I've been here, and nobody ever seems to throw any out. It always seems to get eaten, so uh, that's, the way, that's the way we make it. Uh, to, in a peach mixture, we use uh, peaches. Myself, I like to uh, put a little bit of brown sugar. A about of, a half a cup? Uh, about a half a cup of brown sugar. A little more, a little less. And use it to suit your taste. And then butter. Don't use margarine. I use butter. All natural, good, good for you. <laughs> Cut this up into smaller pieces, melt a little bit easier. And I like to get the peaches a little bit softer. Some people, again, you can adjust this recipe to your taste. Some people like firm peaches, some don't. I don't. I'd rather have. Granny always said always clean up as you go. Uh, so I will cut these up or get them on the bowl. I have another pot over here that we used. Okay, and that's just the mixture, just exactly that's what just you put in mixture. that pot. That's just the mixture. This is the very same thing. But for the magic of TV, we had two pots going. Give that a few minutes to let it come to a good soft, uh, well, not really a rolling bowl, just a soft bowl. And these are ready. And how long do you want to boil them, usually? Uh, just until they're tender, because the, you have to cook it as well. After you, after you get the, after you boil them, you have to cook them in the oven. Now, this will splatter just a little bit, okay. so. So you're pouring it into a 9 by 13 pan. 9 by 13, you don't have to grease it, you don't okay. have to do anything with it. There we go. Now the topping, very simple, very simple. Cup of sugar, cup of flour, cup of milk. That's all there is to it. Simple enough. Simple enough, there's the sugar, there's the flour. Now to get these mixed in before I put, I always make your dry ingredients in before you get your wet, wet ingredients in. Now, now did you sift your flour? I do sift it, I just okay. like to sift, I like to sift flour, sometimes you get clumps in it. Uh, and this is self-rising, I suppose you could use all-purpose flour. Uh, but I just I always keep self-rising flour on hand for making biscuits or pies or whatever. So, you know, I could do that either, did you? <laughs> okay, a cup of flour, a cup of sugar, and a cup of milk. We're using full-fat milk. Full, Red-top milk. That's <laughs> the way they made it back then. They didn't have, uh, well, I suppose they did, but nobody drank it all. I'm sure it Mix makes it up. taste better. Sure it does. Uh, this mixture, when it's done, it doesn't have to be thick, it doesn't have to be thin. Like I said, uh, it can be a cup of everything. You can adjust it a little bit. If you need to add a little more, you can. If you get it too wet, just put a little bit more flour in. Could you show the camera? It's almost the consistency of pancake batter. Almost. I am going to add just a little bit more. Is it better to use a whisk if they don't have a whisk? Can they use a you spoon? You can use a fork. Or? You can use a fork. You can use okay. a spoon. Uh, I've just I used a whisk because it's the first thing I came to in the drawer. 
And that's what you have to do here at the fire department. Sure Use is. what you got. Like I said, that's about that's a good consistency. Okay. And then once this is done, it's just kind of you pour this kind of through the the peach mixture. This will sink. Do not stir it. Do not stir it. Okay. And it's ready to go into the oven after after you get that done. Uh, Put it in the oven, uh, 375, 400 degrees, something like that, until you get the top, or until you get it brown. Depends on how brown you like your topping. You usually do it about 45 minutes, somewhere uh, around in there, 45, 45 to an minutes. hour. I mean, you can't really, you don't want to overcook the batter that you pour in, uh, but 45 minutes to an hour will usually work. And then again, what we have, what it turns out like when we get done, is this right here. That's your finished product. And now you added cinnamon to the top, right? I did right? just a little bit of cinnamon. Be careful with cinnamon; it's really strong. You don't want to overpower your your dishes with with spices. Uh, I like the to taste the foods that I'm cooking uh, instead of the spices. Be very careful with that, but it does. Add, it adds a little bit. Uh, a little bit extra to it, and uh, of course you've got to have ice cream. Not light ice well, cream, I not think ice got milk. Some ice cream. You've got to have ice cream <laughs> to go with this, and we're going to have to have somebody to try it. And I think you would be a good one to do that. Well, I'll try a little bit. It's going to ruin my diet, but I'm going to try uh, just a little bit. A, who needs a diet? <laughs> I think we'll have enough. some firefighters come in here and try it too. Okay. Let me stand back because it's good enough you won't hit somebody after you eat it. Go ahead. Mmm. <laughs> See, I told you. That is good. Let's get some firefighters in here to try it. Okay. So we've got some great taste testers here today. We've got firefighter Titus Jackson, Captain Jamie Bigelow, and firefighter Bill Durkin. So let us know what you think. These guys are all on Engine 15 up here at headquarters, so they do a lot of cooking and eating in this kitchen. Not bad. Very good. Like it? Thank you for watching another episode of Cooking with MFRD. Thank you, Tracy Summer, for sharing your recipe with us today. The recipe can be found on our Facebook page, on Marcusboro Fire and Rescue Department's Facebook page, and also on the city's website at www.murfreesboro.tn.gov.